Welcome to the second hour of this morning. Here are today's headlines. President Moon Jae-in has told his senior secretaries that Korea has the world's lowest level of COVID-19 fatality rates with the completion of vaccine shot administrations for high-risk populations, but emphasized his commitment to containing the pandemic and reversing the situation by continuing the vaccination efforts and appropriate containment measures. He has also moved up the target date for completing the first dose of 36 million Koreans, equivalent to 70% of the total population from the end of September to before the Chuseok holidays. Leading People Power Party presidential candidate Yoon seok yeol has caused yet another uproar by attacking feminism this time. He lectured to first-term lawmakers of the People Power Party that feminism is being politically used to deter men and women from dating each other and that feminism must be healthy feminism while discussing various causes of Korea's low fertility rate, implying that feminism is obstructing heterosexual relationships, which has caused the fertility rate to go down. When a reporter pointed out linking feminism to the low fertility rate is unreasonable, he evaded the question by saying that he was just saying that there are some people who argue that. The People Power Party has been under fire for its lack of gender awareness since its spokesperson, Yang Junu, put the blame on three-time gold medalist An San for bringing the misogynistic hate speech onto herself by alleging to have used a misandrist term. Finally, Seoul National University President Oh Se-jung apologized to the late sanitation worker who was found dead in a university dormitory in June and her bereaved family three days after the Ministry of Employment and Labor's investigation found the deceased was a victim of workplace harassment. Oh said the SNU will follow the Labor Ministry's recommendations in good faith to improve the working conditions for its workers. The union welcomed the president's approach but found the lack of apology for the insensitive remark made by the now ex-VP for student affairs, Kumin Gyo. And you can listen to these headlines once again by going to our YouTube channel. It comes with scripts and subtitles as well. Coming up next, our weekly discussion segment, Social Puzzles.